I say anything.、Uh, one apology and、uh, one big thank you. Apology for my poor English.、Uh, one thing you may you, you may not notice, but one thing that、um, I I often heard about British is a term or maybe a compliment called cute British accent. All right. <laughs> so、uh, you may not know this, but、uh, I actually envy every one of you. The way you talk is rare. It's really gorgeous.、Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't have a cute British accent. Just allows me to make sure of all the accent that I get so far. So、uh, try to understand as much as you can. Okay. And a big thank you、uh, to Jen, to the executive committee, and every one of you for giving me a chance to be here and talk to you all.、Uh, you're very nice people, and、uh, I really appreciate this chance. It's a total privilege for me. Okay.、Uh, brief introduction for my background.、Uh, Peter Choi from Hong Kong, the former director of Young Professional Development of BCS. Okay. This for last year, and、uh, in. 31st of July. That means last month, the end of last month, we had our AGM and all the positions shuffled, and I, and I became the vice chairman of the Hong Kong section. Actually, a little bit of a promotion in terms of workload. Okay, so I supervise, <laughs> <laughs> so I supervise more than YPG now.、Uh, actually, the mentor, the mentorship program, YPG, and also other, other kinds of stuffs. Okay, so I'm here to talk to you about the YPG development. What is the current status of YPG in Hong Kong? The mentorship program that you have heard, all heard about. And BCS ICT Ambassador Scheme, this is brand new. Okay, that's、uh, Reggie hasn't to told you much about it last time. I'll go, I'll, I'll go to that later. And what is,、uh, what are the next steps? What are we going to do in the near future? Okay, YPG in Hong Kong actually share the same objective as the headquarters. Okay, to provide a service and networking platform for the members under the age of 35. Okay. And the official subcommittee in Hong Kong is not yet formed, or maybe、uh, we got a bunch of students. We have、uh, a person in charge in the committee, but we do not have a subcommittee structure、uh, officially formed. We're still、uh, observing the performance of the students and how they're going to help us in in, in the near future before we decide on、uh, what it's going to do next. And the recruitment and training, okay, of the of the YPG、um, workers, students are actually coming from the mentorship program and the ambassador scheme. Okay, these are the two steps. Two stepping stone. The mentorship program is actually the first stepping stone. We are、uh, holding a very meaningful program for the student, but at the same time, we are recruiting the students into into our working group, okay, of the Hong Kong section. And the ambassador scheme is a step further that we are mentoring this.、Uh, this this section is actually mentoring the students to to hold different kinds of functions, okay, in, in correlation with us. So、uh, supervised by the director of young professional development in the, in the Hong Kong section committee. Okay, this is the person in charge that we have officially in our committee structure. Okay, that is our website. Okay,、uh, and we are going to renovate it very soon because of the new committee has been elected. So, the mentorship program. Basically, it is a, a program that is a match up match up service of、um, the industry leaders and the students in the tertiary institute. We have the, our own network. We know a lot of people. We know a lot of bosses in big companies. So we decide to match up between the、uh, company bosses or leaders with the students. Okay, so、um, basically we have a mentor and mentee pairs with a proportion of one to four. That means、uh, I was a mentor myself. I got four mentees under me, and、um, we do the matching basically、uh, based on the desire of the mentee. For example, I'm a business student and I want to、um, find a mentor that can help me to develop my、uh, business career. Maybe、uh, I want to find an entrepreneur. Okay, so that I can start up my own business. Okay, we got that.、Uh, we got that kind of information during the application form. In 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 the application form, so we decide to match up. Okay, between the mentor and the mentee, twenty more than twenty mentors has been invited. Okay, in the end, and from both industry and academic fields, some of them are professors in、uh, uh, in the universities. So that you, if I get a mentee、uh, who's doing research, I can find him a professor to be his mentor. So.、Um, From all walks of life, actually, we、uh, decided at first that,、uh, for example, because it is the first time that we are holding similar functions, we decided to set up a, a limit to fifty, fifty-five O, okay, mentees,、uh, in the first. But at last, we got more than a hundred applications. So we did some screening, and at the end, eighty-two mentees were confirmed to be、uh, to, to 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 join the program from eleven tertiary institutes. We are not、uh, limiting to the universities in Hong Kong, but also we extend to pre-vocational institutions,、uh, meaning other kinds non-grammar non-non-grammar non institutions that、uh, we we have. And basically, we got 82 in the end. The period was only half a year, October last year to 
April this year. So we end up end up half a year later, and then we are now in uh, a evaluation, and we're preparing for the next session that will commence on uh, in October this year. Uh, during the program, three to four meetings are recommended. Okay, between mentor and mentees, so that within half a year they're going to meet up three to four times for every kind of topics. And we got a certificate to the students. Okay, at the end of the program, if they perform well, by meaning perform. Satisfactory performance actually means that some of the students are very passive and they never showed up. Okay, amongst four of my mentees, one never showed up. So that that guy never get a certificate. Okay, that's fair. Okay, the program itself, launching ceremony, the opening ceremony, which happens to be a very very grand and successful um, ceremony by far. Okay, within the whole 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 year of the uh, Hong Kong Section program, uh, meetings. Just as I mentioned, three to four meetings within half a year and a halfway evaluation. It means that actually we are not just leaving the mentor and mentee interact by itself, but we never care. But instead, we got some telephone calls to both mentors and mentees and follow up what is going on, how many times have we meet, have you ever, uh, do you need any help in uh, arranging the meetings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So actually, uh, throughout the half a year, we we are always constantly following up the progress, and uh, and both the mentor and mentees gave us some feedbacks about the program which I will go into it later on. Corporate visit, this one is very fun. We chose IFC2, okay, as the corporate visit location. IFC2 was the tallest building in Hong Kong, and I wonder if any one of you have watched a movie called Batman, The Dark Knight. Yeah, you, you, you know about that Batman went to Hong Kong and jumped off the rooftop to another, to another shorter building, smashed the window and grabbed the bad guy. Okay, so uh, from where, the, Batman jumped off. Actually, we visited that rooftop of the tallest building. That was the tallest building in Hong Kong. And when we we went to the exact spot where Batman jumped off. Okay, so so the students are thrilled. Wow, that's very fun. Okay, that's cool. So the idea is that uh, the program itself is very academic, and we train up. We we are we, we are about professionalism, but uh, actually we add in some fun element into the program itself. Okay. So the closing ceremony, experience sharing from mentees, okay, what happened? Uh, we chose a number of mentees to share their experience and how they're going to interact with the mentors, okay? So the uh, feedbacks from mentors and mentees, this is important. Uh, it was proposed that the program should be extended one year duration, okay, which is fair enough, but we got a second problem is that the mentors are often busy, okay? Half a year for three to four meetings may be too much for them, okay, too many for them. And if we are extending to one year, maybe the mentors uh, do not have much time to cater to entertain the mentees, okay. But the mentors also got some feedback to us is that the mentees are too passive, okay, meaning if I am a mentor, I don't find you, you never find me, okay. So it, is, it should be the responsibility of the student to find the mentors and arrange the meeting themselves to, to make appointment with the secretary or whatever, okay, instead of the mentors finding the mentees and arrange the meetings. So the mentees should be encouraged to do more things, to be more proactive in the process. Okay, but in general, the uh, participants find that the arrangement is very great. Okay, it is very good comment for, for us, given uh, we are organizing for, for the first time. So this is, this is for all about the program and uh, about the opening ceremony that we are having. We, uh, we, we did have a very, very grand and successful um, uh, functions going on in the opening. Okay, this is what happened. A huge fund of people in the, in, the, in the area, okay, in the front row there are the committee members, we got the represent, representative from the mainland government, we got representative from Hong Kong government, we got legislative councillor, and we got all, all, all sorts of people in the front row. We also got a representative from the MIT, the, uh, a program called One, Children, uh, one Child, One Laptop. I wonder if any one of you have heard about it. Yeah. Okay, the, the state of the art can actually demonstrate how to throw a notebook to the ground and the notebook is still working. Okay, it is very, <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting and then students never saw that. Okay, so uh, actually um, uh, a lot of great keynote speeches in the, in, in the program, in the function itself. It's a very successful function, okay, in the, in the mentorship program. And the result, concluded with good reputation, it is very likely that we will have more institutions willing to join us and, and will find us to about uh, for more information in the next year, in the coming, in, in the coming session, which will, which will start in two months. Uh, 22 out of 82 mentees stay after the program for the ambassador scheme. Okay, we opened up another scheme as a step two for the, for the entire function. So 22 of them, uh, about one-fourth, 25% stay. 
And uh, some of the other uh, societies, you know, in Hong Kong, there are more, uh, there are many kinds of professional uh, bodies apart from BCS Hong Kong section um, that are op uh, opening chances for the mentorship program. But some of them actually uh, request to co-organize uh, this program with us. But we turn them down because of the difference in the society objective. They're more like a business society. So we are a professional body. So we never agree to we never align, so, so we turn them down. But there, this is a good part that the successful functions actually attract other uh, professional bodies to try to co-organize with us. And the mentorship sustained beyond the program, this is very important. Just half a year program, but the relationship lasts longer than half a year. So I and my mentees actually still contact, keep in touch with one another. One another. It is a lifetime relationship, okay, provided that you keep that, lo keep that long enough. Okay, so uh, any question for the mentorship program? About the logistic, yeah. How is the program funded? Good question. We we take care of ourselves. We are on our own. We we uh, actually the program spent some money, but we did have enough savings in our in our sections cover. So uh, we did request the funding from headquarters, but we never get that. Okay, I'll get to that in the last slide. Okay, that that is something that I need to address. Yeah. Uh, could you flip just the photos? Yep. You know some guy here? <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, representative from the mainland government. You, you know this? You, you know him, really? Bring <laughs> me out. Oh, well, this, this guy has actually told a very attractive story. He, he told us how uh, in, in the mainland, somebody, uh, 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 I don't know how to say it. Somebody pick up rubbish cans, okay, aluminium cans, the uh, Coca-Cola cans for a living, okay, and and some somehow he found a way to to melt the can and uh, sell the aluminium uh, alloy, okay, for a greater profit, okay, and then he he turned from picking the rubbish to uh, I, I give you a name card to other rubbish picker, and then uh, all everybody picked the cans for him. Okay, he melt all the cans and make a make a fortune. Okay, that's how he, he get rich. That story is coming from the mainland China, and that guy told told us all about the story. Uh, just the implication that everybody can make a success, provided that he can find a way. Okay, he he, he do have to have to uh, he can find a way to get rich anyway. Okay, so it is very very fun. Okay, every everybody told a different story. Very inspiring. Any more questions for the mentorship? No. Okay, so. For the second step, one, yeah, so yeah. The, um, what is the background of the um, uh, mentors? Uh, where, what industries do they come from? Uh, normally, we find uh, our network. We explored our network. Actually, they come from different kinds of company. Maybe electronic company. Uh, some of them man, um, manufacture the electronic chips. Okay, for marathons. Uh, some of them are um, IT companies, software companies. Okay, for the industry leaders, mainly mainly come from that that ground. Or maybe uh, we got we got different uh, curriculum uh, professors, okay, from different universities. So um, basically, we we cover a wide range of uh, of industry uh, with regard to the mentor. But we screen, we did some screening to the mentees, mainly screen out the art student, maybe because we got too few mentors coming from art background. Okay, so if the mentees from art curriculum trying to find an art job. We cannot help them at all, so that we, we, we actually introduce them to other societies' mentorship program instead, okay, before we screen them out. Uh, but mainly, uh, most of the students, uh, most of the applicants got their mentors and pretty good, pretty good match up. Yeah. Did you introduce any charging? Char Just charging. Charging? Yeah. No. Like you said, some, some mentees, they, no. they're not serious. No, people. free of charge. Free of charge. It's welfare to the students. Yeah, we, 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 if we're doing something meaningful, we don't charge them normally. Uh, if we're making some uh, seminars, maybe we charge them as a deposit, but we seldom charge them in Hong Kong. That's why we, we are always surviving by our own. Every, every single expense comes from the section itself, without funding. <laughs> we're self-funded, basically, a little. Any more question? So we go on. The second step is the BCS ICT Ambassador scheme, okay, very long lane, okay. It's a step two for the mentorship program. Actually, 22 of the mentees join our program, okay. Uh, actually, provides further training. The the uh, ambassador is actually it's a working group of our section, okay. We we give them opportunity to uh, to organize the activities with us, okay, so that they can liaise with our supporting organization. They can liaise with our sponsors. They can communicate with other uh, network that we have, okay, in the committee level. 
Okay, the, um, the ambassadors are also, uh, this is a group of people, 22 people, okay, they are encouraged to drive uh, and initiate their own um, YPG related functions as well, okay. This is still in the proposal stage where they propose like, like career talk, seminar, those kind of functions, they can organize by themselves. Um, if their function is uh, worth it, actually, uh, the proposal got through, a section will fund them, okay, who will give them enough resources to hold the function by, by, by themselves. Okay, this is what they did, very good at, uh, in the university society's level, but we're giving them a chance to do that in our section. Okay, it's a prototype of the YPG. Okay, maybe some prospective uh, ambassadors who work very hard in the, uh, during the year, we will, uh, we will actually choose, uh, choose them to be elected as the first YPG committee under the Hong Kong section. Okay, so we got an official subcommittee under our, our section. But this is still in the observation stage. Background, team size 22, as I've mentioned. Scheme duration, okay, May 1st, 2009 to next year, April next year. So it, it, is, uh, it started right after the mentorship program. Certificate of merit will be granted, same as the mentorship program, only for ambassadors who are very uh, with good performance. Um, yeah, the proposed function, I've talked about that. Um, have applied, yeah, that is important. Some ambassadors actually have applied for student membership. So we are actually selling the membership to the ambassadors. Uh, if they're going to become the YPG subcommittee, they must be a student member at least. So we're selling the, selling the uh, membership, membership to, to the ambassadors and actually it will become a stronger membership base okay, in Hong Kong. We're doing that more and more and expanding okay, into university level and trying to gain a stronger student membership base the team structure by far, okay, coordinator, one for, um, for calling the meetings, one secretary, a team of program team, marketing team, editorial team. Okay, this structure is actually proposed by me because uh, due to the experience that I served in the section for five years, and I know that these three are, are, the, are, the, major, are the major work to be done, okay, uh, normally in the Hong Kong section. Program team is for organizing function, and we train them with project management skills. Marketing team for uh, we actually get um, each from each uh, tertiary institutes we get one representative to sit in the marketing team so that we can expand okay our our influence into university level uh, editorial team for design and content work okay say for example designing the Erica the the, the backdrop or everything like that okay this is a very heavy workload especially in the web in the in the website okay we actually. Uh, train all these students with the with the skills and the working attitude that is required in the real in the real world. Okay, instead of uh, doing some fancy little stuff in the university, we are trying to ex uh, level up the, uh, the requirement and try to have them work like what we are working now. Current status: the team is set. Okay, proposed function and forming the year plan. Originally, there was a meeting in Hong Kong two days ago. Okay, and. Uh, but unfortunately, it was postponed due to a typhoon striking Hong Kong right now. Okay, so I will keep you in, uh, informed about what is going on in, in, in YPG in Hong Kong, about the year plan especially. The Hong Kong Section Committee actually formed a task force of six people to supervise the team. So instead of just letting the team go on their own, we're supervising them in every function. Okay, we're, we're sending representatives in, uh, in the committee to, in every function to supervise them. Incumbent Director of Young Professional Development, succeeding me, Mr. Jermaine Wong. I will pass on the contact to you. And okay, next step. Oh, any 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 question about the the scheme? It is pretty much like a yeah. Okay, when you um, award the certificates, how do you measure the performance? Uh, basically. Um, now, our, our assumption is that everyone will get their certificate at the end, okay? But uh, it is very obvious that some of them are very proactive and some of them actually uh, just, just sit in here doing nothing, okay? We can easily spot that, okay? Just by subjective, subjective evaluation, we can easily sort out who, who are going to get the certificate. But normally, okay, if you're helping and you are willing to help, uh, we, will, we will grant you the certificate and, anyway. But whether or not you're going to the YPG subcommittee later on is another issue. Just like the mentees, okay, we, we prepared a lot of certificates for the mentees, but uh, eventually not everyone got them. They didn't even attend the closing ceremony, so they didn't get them. Anyway. Um, one of the quick things, so when you're training the students, yeah. is it the committee that's training them for the skills? Or? Yeah, yeah, most likely. Say, for example, in the program team, okay, we actually got a PMP, a real project manager for supervising all the functions. And the marketing team, we got some um, 
some people in the committee working in the marketing field, okay, they would tell them step by step how to carry out and what kind of, they would give you some insight on how to do the marketing step by step. Okay, so um, editorial team, actually I, I assigned the director of publication in the section to, to, to supervise the editorial team, okay, he is the one who is making all the designs and websites and publications, everything. So he's very sensitive to words, especially, uh, oh, this word is wrong, okay? In the university level, you never care about a wrong word in your publication, but it never happens in our, in our level, especially with professional society. We can't afford to have any, any wrong content in any of our publications. So this is a requirement that we are giving them, and we're trying to inspire them not to get anything wrong. Yeah. Any more questions about the scheme? Nope, okay. Next steps, the formation of YPG committee under Hong Kong section. Okay, this is what I've told you about, but uh, the time frame is not yet set. Okay, with depending on the performance of the students and whether or not the time is matured, uh, because setting up a committee requires a delivering of authority, a certain kind of authority that they can bear the name of BCS to hold their functions, so we are very cautious about that. Uh, we will get into that, okay, sometime. It's a matter of time, actually. Uh, more structured promotion in tertiary institutes, uh, it all depends on the marketing team, on how we are going to deliver, maybe cooperate with the uh, university uh, societies that we have talked about earlier today, okay, and maybe some uh, university departments, as long as we have a student in the university, that becomes our eyes and ears, or a spy in every, in every university that we can deliver our message across. Interactive media, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, that's the things that you guys are doing, so we are going to, I'm, I'm actually trying to learn about how you're going to do it, and we're trying to follow, follow your footsteps in Hong Kong. Activate current young members to participate and get involved. It means that the current members that are under the age of 35, around one-fourth of the current membership population in Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, maybe more than 1,000 members, a bit more than 1,000. Okay, so we got more than 200, is it 200-something, okay, young YPG members in Hong Kong. There's not many, but we'll get into more. We'll get more in, in, in the near future. So. It's a very good beginning, seems like, okay, in Hong Kong, we're, we're, we're constantly expanding and we've got a plan how to expand it. But, no, it seems like we don't have the enough resources, okay, to carry on because um, Reggie, okay, you have heard about Reggie, okay, he's a former chairman, no longer the chairman, but uh, he did a lot of hard work, okay, in fighting for the fundings for Hong Kong section, okay, especially for the mentorship program, who has done a very good job. But, uh, uh, somebody, okay, you know who, who, is, who, who is responsible for the international affairs, actually told us that, oh, your application is denied, it's rejected due to the economic downturn, okay, uh, all kinds of economic downturn reason. We do not have uh, enough funding to carry on, so uh, that's part of my mission here, okay, maybe maybe tomorrow or maybe maybe day after that I have to meet with the actual committee to fight for the fundings to Hong Kong section, so else, uh, because it is a new committee or a new cabinet here, we have decided to um, act according to the resource that we have. Okay, so there's a new policy there in Hong Kong, and probably we're going to scale down a little bit, okay, in order to fit into our existing cover. Okay, anyway, but uh, I hope that this section can, or, or the headquarters can, can actually uh, support the section for, for doing a good job, because it's a pity for us to scale down right now, because we have a very good prospect and a very good uh, starting here already. I hope that the headquarters can support us anyway. So thank you. Any questions are welcome, and you can keep my contact there in case you want to keep in touch with me. <laughs>